It's a driving video, so we must be driving. Yeah, we're driving. We're, we are leaving Baja. We are heading north out of San Felipe. <sighs> leaving bitter. Baja. It's bittersweet. It's, it's bitter. It's really bitter. I'm bitter. We ended up rushing this morning because there was a huge caravan of Class A's. At least eight of them. That it all started their engines. States has turned into zombie land. We decided we were going to stop and get some toilet paper <laughs> and some hand sanitizer and some Clorox, and wipes. Some Clorox wipes and some butt wipes and just yes, to, just to take home with us. Just to have because I mean, who doesn't like to wipe their butt with toilet paper? I, mean, I like to wipe my butt. We have friends in small towns in the United States that can't buy toilet paper. Yeah, they're like looking on Amazon. It, it's buy out. Toilet paper. Toilet paper in the small towns are out, and they don't know when like, it's coming in, and people buy it up as soon as it gets there. It's like seventy-five dollars. It's ridiculous. So anyway, there's tons of toilet paper in Mexico. If you live by the border and you're scared don't about this, tell them that. <laughs> just go to Mexico, grab up all the toilet paper. Then the poor Mexicans won't have any. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm gonna get some nasty comment right now. Anyway, well, he didn't do that. He just grabbed a couple. Of grab. Couple, yep, whatever you call it. We got enough for a house. We got 30 rolls of toilet paper, and we're going back to my parents' house where we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five grown adults. So that's not all that much. So we are driving north on San Felipe. It's a pretty easy road. We're gonna go to the Mexicali border crossing. Not sure how that's gonna work. Well, we got this handy dandy paper. Yeah, that was a from the leader of that caravan. Benefit of making friends. He had an extra little directions for how to get them through, so, so we'll follow it. And then we've got a whole lot of Arizona going on. We've got some friends we're gonna go see in Arizona and um, hang out for a day or two, maybe. The weather's not gonna be all that great. And uh, we've gotta get back to Florida. Lindsay has some medical appointments lined up, so we'll get those started purpose of this meander on back to Florida but uh, while we're on the topic of going back to the United States can I ask you Lindsay what did you miss the most these last four and a half five months or so honestly I missed food <laughs> like in and out burgers what you're talking about Maybe. I missed in and out burger we don't even have In-N-Out burgers in Florida. And I know, you're wondering, it's crazy talk, but I'm saying I miss the food when tacos are in Mexico. Tacos are great. Sometimes. But, they also cook very unhealthy here. Like in lard, big fat, and Almost everything's fried. fried. And sugars and everything. And like way worse than the States. Yeah, it was... And it's just hard. Whoa. Big not to obey. <laughs> if you followed along with Lindsay switching over to the gluten-free diet, it was very difficult to find that in a big city like La Paz. 300,000 people I there. You could find it. In a big city, yeah, it was difficult to find. When you get to the smaller towns, Mulaje, nothing. Nada. Yeah. That's Spanish for nothing. There was, there was no healthy food. So, I do agree. That'll be nice to have some healthy food. I'm looking forward to the non-healthy In-N-Out burger. In fact, this truck... I can't eat it. So. This truck has a habit when we drive past one, it just pulls right into the parking lot. So I wonder how many we're going to pass, how much it's going to slow us down driving through Arizona. We're all over Arizona. Oh, so. yeah. Thanks for reminding me. This is great.
headed to Mexicali and we are now navigating our way through the city. There's a bit more to the city, far more than Tecate where we came across, um, but getting into the busier, popular place, there's street lights everywhere which we haven't really seen yeah. in a very long big time. supermarkets, there's a big Costco. Supermarkets, Costco, train tracks, haven't seen train tracks yeah. since I don't, I don't know when. <laughs> Um, so we are just figuring that out, how to get through here. In case you were wondering, we keep our passports in our truck camper at all times. We are the seventh car in line now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. It's only taken about half an hour so far. Has it been that long? Yeah. We are crossing right around noon. We thought we'd have pretty decent crossing yeah. like mid-morning and maybe that's not best, but I don't know if there is a good time. I mean, this looks like a really big crossing. So if I go back busy. and do this all over again, I'd probably go back to Tecate. Mm -hmm. There's just two lines through there, hardly anybody coming in when we were heading to Mexico. But um, this is the most direct route if you're going back into California and then either toward Arizona or toward California. It's the most direct route from the five and people prefer this by far over taking the one up through Tijuana. Um, but totally up to you. Hasn't been a miserable experience, but it hasn't yep. been fantastic either. It was either. a nice drive. It was a nice drive. Yep, easy to find the crossing. Two hours driving. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like, um, you know, the walk of shame. Yeah. You know, where you had a really, really good time, and you thought it was going to last forever, and then you wake up and you... Oh, Baja. You got to leave, and you realize it, it wasn't... reality. It wasn't real. Is that, that's probably a bad analogy. If you've ever done the walk of shame, I'm sorry if it brought back memories. But it is very hard right now for me to even think about the fact that we're leaving Baja, especially because we left a little bit earlier than we thought we would. Yeah. Baja has been fantastic. We've enjoyed it. We will be back, God willing, someday. Not sure when, but it's been, it's been awesome. Yeah. It's been an amazing Love chapter. So we have got one, two, three, four cars to go. So close it out. We're technically in the United States right now, but not from a document standpoint. Yes. We're on U.S. soil, however. 
our phones welcomed, welcomed us back to the United States. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut this down because I know they are not gonna want the camera to roll. And out of respect for our awesome Customs and Border Patrol, we are gonna go ahead and shut the camera down. See you in America. On the other side. Yeah, see you on the other side. At in and out Burger. Was mostly easy. We're about to get x rayed. Now we're going into the x ray. Ooh, this is cool. And that car slows its roll. Nice guy. Yeah. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy so far. Oh, they got little short ones for the cars. Yeah. Oh, they do in a random check. Yeah. Here we go. Go. Do I hold my nuts? America. We can put our accents back on, Lindsay. <laughs> put your accent back on. But we're not in the South. Don't matter. You're an American, not an American. <laughs> we are back in Los Estados Unidos. Los Estados del Nino. What? Los Estados Unidos. Unidos. <laughs> you want burritos? This is an El Centro. This is El Centro in Los Estados Unidos. Oh, United States. We... <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make the cut or not. I think it should, but I'm kind of embarrassed for you. We, uh, we got a special check. We went through the x-ray, and then we sat for, I don't know, 20 minutes. I guess they were busy. I guess that's why. Yeah. And then a very nice lady finally said, please get out of your car and go stand in that cage over there. <laughs> yeah. it, there was a waiting area, but it was a cage. And we went and we stood in the cage and she just took a couple minutes to go around and then waved us yeah, through. She but take long it was definitely a little special. I think we got to keep her fruit. Yeah, she didn't walk out with any fruit. I didn't wow. check. I didn't check. So our crossing is a little different than the fifth wheel that passed us by. Yeah, there was a fifth wheel that just went right through. Maybe you get to go right through, maybe you don't, I don't know. I'm starting to suspect though it's because we don't have like normal stuff people our age would have, like five kits. So maybe we just get five kits and we yeah. carry them around with us when we cross borders. And then people feel sorry for us and just wave us through. Yeah, like the inspections, Melissa and Scott had no problem going through. Yeah. We always got stopped and we always got looked for. Yeah. But if you have kids, then they're like, oh, those are normal people. 
They wouldn't be smuggling, smuggling kids. Smuggling drugs. Yeah. So we're doing a little whoop de loop right now. And then we're going to end up, um, well, we'll tell you where we'll end up in a minute because there's got to be an In N Out burger around here. <laughs> And then we'll give you a little update on the story because while we were waiting, we kind of had some decisions we made. Yeah. We always make decisions. It's the life well, on. You have to. Life on the road is all about decisions. <laughs> but the signs are in uh, English, so look at that. And we're back in miles. And there miles are miles per hour. There are no topes. They're called speed humps. So we're out of the land of topes. Tope Back Town the is of behind us. That don't wreck your vehicle. Six and a half, what, miles, kilometers to Interstate 8? I think it's miles. It is miles. And what are the gas prices going to be like right oh, across the border? Oh, let's find out. We're in California, so. That is true. Three fifty-three. That's like a dollar better. That's a deal. Let's stop. Yeah. I'll take three of those. Jack in the box, not quite in and out burger. Nope. This is fun. Weather is like super awful here. Flash flooding warnings and lots of rain. And it's cold. I mean, it's a little chilly. It's cold <laughs> and it's raining. So we're on our way to visit our friends, Joe and Lillian Prescott, Arizona. And we'll spend a little bit of time with them. God willing, we make it through all this rain. Well. Which you can hear pitter pattering all over the place. We did get food, no In-N-Out Burger yet, but we do have food. That was, that was an eye-opening experience. $19.24 for two That's meals crazy. at Wendy's. Yeah, it was absurd. So, we have food. We're good on fuel for a little bit. We're gonna drive. Let's let's get out of California. Yep, I'm ready. Story of my life. I was born in California. Every time I go to California, so let's get out of California. <laughs> let's get out of California. friend's house in Prescott, Arizona, and there's this white stuff on the ground. It's crazy to think yesterday morning we woke up in Baja, and uh, this morning we woke up in Arizona, and it's such a difference. But we'll be here for a couple days, enjoying. It's cold and rainy. 
we're going to be enjoying the company of our friends and then we'll be taking off. Um, so, I'm going to go a little radio silent as we enjoy our time here. And we'll check back in later. <laughs>